Hi guys, welcome to another edition of Just Another Melissa Monday. I'm sitting outside today just enjoying this beautiful weather and the sunshine and the breeze. It's just amazing getting my vitamin D in. It makes me so happy. Hey, today I want to talk to you a little bit about faith. And I've been looking at Hebrews, uh, more specifically Hebrews chapter 11. So if you guys want to turn your Bibles there, you can. And Hebrews chapter 11 talks all about faith. And man, oh man, we need faith right now, don't we? Uh, if you would have asked me a couple weeks ago if I have faith in the unknown and faith in uncertainty, I would have been like, yeah, sure, yeah, because I wasn't living through it. And now we all are living in this uncertain time of uh, we don't know when things are going to be rescheduled or if they are going to be rescheduled. We don't know a timeline of, uh, of anything and of what's going to happen. And um, so with that uncertainty can sometimes come this uh, idea of losing faith, this idea of asking God, why? Why is this all happening? Uh, but it says this in Hebrews 11, 1, and I just have been clinging on to this verse this week, and I hope that it uh, impacts you as well. It says, now faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. Wow. And then, of course, chapter 11 goes into more details about the faith that uh, these people had to have in God because they uh, didn't know what was going to happen next. They had to trust God in every single step of their life in order to know that God was in control. They had faith knowing that God had a plan for their lives even when they couldn't see it. I mean, it talks about Adam and Abra I'm sorry, Abraham and Sarah and how they were old and, and finally had a child that God blessed them with. It talks about Isaac and Jacob. It talks about Joseph and Moses. And it talks about the people being led over the Red Sea. And it talks about uh, the walls of Jericho and the faith that the, that the prostitute had. And it goes on and on about these people's faith in God, not knowing what their future was going to look like, but knowing that they needed to be obedient and take the steps that God had planned for them. I just pray that I would continue to be faithful I would continue to have faith in what God has planned, uh, even after COVID-19, and I hope that you can do the same. Have a great day, guys. See you later.